Now, I'm not used to building above ground builds, so this probably isn't going to look the best. I'm going to be real with you, Chief. Um, I'm going to try my best, obviously, but my best is probably not going to be good enough. Um, I do want to create, start making some chests, which just gave me immense flashbacks to Anadonia because we still haven't fixed our own chest monster yet. We're still in the process of building our fucking computer. So let's just quickly pop out a few chests. Four should be enough. There we go. Just though, just so that we can have like a, a clearish inventory. There we go. So let's throw the the tomes in there. Let's throw the nebulous heart, the the, the golden hoe, the the aquamarine and the spawner cages. Let's throw in the braziers and the mana weaving altars, and that should be good for now. We should we should be able to should be able to pick all of this shit up now. And I know what I brought the iron for, because in the event that I was a dumbass and didn't make all of the necessary tools I'd need to survive, I could craft them out of iron. So I'm gonna quickly... <sighs> ah, excuse me. I'm gonna quickly craft an axe and a shovel. There we go. Oh, fucking Christ. RGB, I love you, but if you do that again, I'm going to fucking exterminate your entire race. Your entire... <laughs> I was gonna say your entire bloodline, but I guess it'd be more appropriate to say your entire honey line, um, will be completely wiped off the face of the earth, and there's nothing you'll be able to do about it. Uh, but I love you, um, and as long as you don't piss me off, that will, that will be how it remains. How to gaslight 101, children. That's, that's like the first lesson. <laughs> <laughs> gaslight gate boss girl keep I think or girl boss gate keep gaslight I don't know all these kids and their gaslighting and their gate girl bossing I almost said gate bossing then <laughs> how big is this mountain by the way I haven't really checked I want to know just how much I'm clearing out it doesn't look like much but it still looks like quite a bit Here we go. Let's let's get rid of this sand. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to talk about in these segments, to be honest, because um, a lot of the time nothing's really going on in my life, and I know that sounds sad. But when I say nothing's going on me, uh, on in my life, I mean a lot of the time the stuff that is going on is stuff that I can't really talk about because it's to do with the channel. Um. As a YouTuber, I found that, I don't know if this will change as I get bigger, or if it just gets worse as I get bigger, but something I found is that, um, the more you want out of this, the more time you have to put in, and the more time you put in, the less time you spend on other things. Shocking, I know, it seems like, you know, just basic logic, but it's surprising how quickly you tend to forget this when you're like, doing that YouTube grind, that, that subscriber grind, that, 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 that follower grind. You know, it's, um, I would do that again, but <laughs> my throat has not been warmed up en enough, I, that, that really hurt. But, like I, like I was saying, it's, it's something you forget when you're, when you're on that YouTube grind, that the more time you put in, the less time you have to do other things, and... I've learned that the hard way, because now, whenever I talk to people, it's just like, I don't have anything to talk to them about, other than YouTube. Like, it completely has taken over my life, and while in some parts I'm happy for that, in other parts I can't help but feel worried that, you know, if this doesn't take off, if, if, if this remains a hobby for the rest of my life, that I'll have... I'll, I'll have basically just wrecked any chance at having a normal social life I'll have because it'll be too late to sort of learn or, learn or, or talk or discuss about other things. I didn't word that right. That didn't come across the way I wanted it to, but I hope you guys can sort of get the gist of what I'm trying to say. Yeah. This is actually going a lot quicker than I thought it would to say I'm clearing out an entire fucking mountain, but I don't want to open my mouth and speak too soon because... Well, the last time I did that, I got saddled with three major building tasks. And I have completed none of them. Well, 
Technically, I've completed one of them, but that's that's only technically. Let me quickly take a drink. <sighs> I didn't crack it open uh, on camera, but that is a cold one. Sadly, I have no boys around to share it with, though it's just me today. It is just I, the drifter, with uh, with 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 their brand new series. You know, fucking. What did I call this again? Star something star. Sadness, star weariness, star homesickness, star sickness. That's it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't. I cannot believe I just forgot the name of my own fucking series. <laughs> oh my god. What am I gonna do with myself? Right, okay, let's let's get us a new shovel because this task is gonna be a lot fucking slower if I don't have a shovel. Right, uh, let's move this over, actually. There we go. You know, I originally, when I was uh, setting out to do this series, I, um... When I say this series, I mean, uh, Star Sickness, not Anadonia. I wanted there to be, like, a running theme, um, going through of, like... Almost with parallels, I guess, to uh, the tale of Ozymandias. It's like a pretty well-known poem that we get taught about um, in school over here. I don't know if anyone else gets taught about it in other countries, because I've never cared enough to find out. Um, so I found it quite ironic, I guess, that, you know, in some ways, I've, I've wound up sort of in a desert, you know. I mean, I have no idea if I'm going to stick with the whole Ozymandias thing. It was literally just a, a passing thought as I was setting up to record for, you know, this. But it's something I could maybe do something with. It feels weird to discuss the lore of a series as you're, like, making the series. But it's something... It's something I found that comes naturally to me, I guess. I feel like it's because it's less that the... It's less that the method of delivery for the story is perfect, and more I just want the story itself to be perfect. Which is why I'm okay with, like, speaking about information that my characters shouldn't know yet, sort of thing. Because it's just like, as long as the story I get told, or I mean, as long as the story I tell is a good story with a clear and cohesive narrative, then, you know... I've 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 done well at the end of the day. I've done good. Right, I'm actually going to get on top of this mountain because I want to start ton I want to start like flattening it from the top. There we go. I feel like I'll get more done this way. Right. Uh How is it nighttime already? It's ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. We're almost done with this layer. We're exposing the stone beneath. I wonder, did, uh, I wonder if Minecraft Hills always had, like, the, the stone layers underneath. I know they... Well, I mean, I know they didn't always, like, back in the very early days. But, I like, I wonder when they started implementing this. Because it's just something that sort of happened one day. And I never really took any extensive note of it. Even though, you know, I, I probably should have, to be honest. Hey, give me my bed. There we go. Oh shit, hello zombie. Fuck off, fat cow. There we go. Give me my bed back. Right, let's get back to digging out this mountain. I hope Ruby doesn't come back while I'm sort of, you know, missing. I didn't really leave a note, I just sort of, uh, left. But I mean, you know, if he can do it, if he can leave at random hours of the fucking night to go god knows where and do god knows what without leaving any sort of note, then so can I. Fucking asshole. That's probably what he's doing out at night, to be honest. <laughs> uh. Alright, there we go. I want to go over there and get that other side as well. Not that one, but that one. It's only a tiny bit, but it's still poking up higher than the rest of it. There we go. 
Now, for, the, for, for those of you wondering why I'm doing this, it's because I want to build a rather large base around um, the the altar. The, well, I call it an altar. You, you can call it whatever you want, really. It's an astral thing. Uh, but yeah, I want to build a like base around that. And to do that, I need the space. And unfortunately, this mountain just encroaches far too close to the astral altar for me to be comfortable with it. So it must die, as all of life does someday. I am pa I am painfully aware, however, sorry I choked on nothing then, that I am running very low on iron. And I should have probably taken the iron from the chests that I left them in when I had the chance. But you know what, I didn't need it then, so, you know, who can really blame me? Fuck no one. Fuck knows who, that's how. I think the time of night is finally getting to me. <laughs> I don't think that sentence made any sort of coherent sense whatsoever. Maybe it's the, rep uh, the repetitive tasks of mining the sand that's doing it. It's numbing my brain down, turning it into a slushy mush. be a lot quicker if I had my destruction catalyst, but I have no idea where the fuck I put it. I guess I could also go look for them, but you know. Why look for them when I could just be lazy and cause myself more work in the long run instead? sound like I like the sound that the sand makes in this resource pack it's something I never really noticed before or at least if I did it was sort of offhandedly but it's a really nice sand sound I don't know if it's the default one or if they made a custom one for this resource pack or not but I don't know man it's just it's really sfaxy we love it there we go 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 cutting down a mountain like a true champ It's so strange to be doing a series on my own, you know. It's like... It's like something's missing. It's like something... That's integral to the channel and... Just who and what the channel is, is not here. And you know, that's kind of obvious considering, you know, Ruby's fucking not here. But I mean more in the sense of... Even if... I didn't have like an other half to this channel, it still sort of feels like that, I guess. I've never really been one to do solo commentaries. It's, um, I don't know why. I suppose I just don't find myself very interesting. Although, I have been told I have a good voice, so who knows, maybe people will put this on to fall asleep too. Um, <laughs> narcissistic much? Mm, I forgot what I was talking about. So I'm just going to keep digging out the cobblestone. Because my memory is shit. I should come up with a digging song. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that, right, it's nothing to do with the digging song, it just, the fact, the way I said it reminded me of what I was going to talk about. Uh, I was going to say that doing solo commentary kind of feels a lot like just stream of consciousness style writing in fan fiction, film, and TV. Um, I don't know how many, uh, how many people in the audience would be familiar with that, but it's where instead of writing narratively, like, oh, um, and so with a mighty heave of her chest, Sarah raised high her broadsword and yelled. Uh, high her broadsword and yelled. A uh, chest. High her broadsword and yelled. A uh, chest. High her broadsword. A uh, chest. A uh, chest. High her broadsword. A uh, chest. A uh, chest. High her broadsword. A uh, chest. A uh, chest. 
tie her broadsword. Uh, chest. 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 Uh, chest.